Jdev is back at it here to give everyone another Breaking Bad Season 4 episode reaction video. Before I get into that, though, pretty important. If you're not caught up to the point where I am in rewatching or watching Breaking Bad, or you're just not entirely sure, then you should take the initiative and pay attention to the episode title, which, of course, I will say as well as I'll put in the description for you. If that happens to be the case and you are not caught up, it would be my recommendation that you don't watch this video any further just to stay away from any potential spoilers. This could be Breaking Bad Season 4, Episode Number 12. The title of this episode is called End Times. This is going to be my reaction review recap after just finishing watching the episode. So the DEA dispatches a bunch of agents to Hank and Marie's house as there was a potential target put on Hank by the drug cartel. Um, Walt, Skyler, Holly, and Walter Jr. are also included in this. Uh, but Walt convinces Skyler to let him stay behind at their house because he needs to face the consequences. This is his fault. This is something that he needs to do. He's been dealing with the be running in fear for a year, and this hit on Hank is because of him. So Walt sits nervously in the backyard, spinning a gun on the table that keeps pointing at him, but does take note when it points at a potted plant. More on that in a future review of Breaking Bad. Hank decides that his investigation of Gus is the reason for the threat on his life, so he asks Gomez to search the industrial laundromat for him. Steve Gomez and another officer with a drug-sniffing dog later check out the laundromat, but don't find anything. Although Jesse and Tyrus were below them the whole time hidden in the meth lab, Gus, on a phone call to Jesse, implies the police attention is Walt's fault, and that Walt must be killed to protect themselves. But Jesse again refuses to cook for uh, Gus if Walt is killed. Now Saul later hands Jesse's entire share of the meth profits to Jesse, since Saul is uh, planning to temporarily flee Albuquerque until the feud between Walt and Gus is over with. And then Saul reveals that Gus took Walt to the desert and threatened his family a revelation which Jesse is taken back by because he didn't know that. And then Jesse later receives a call from Andrea uh, that her son Brock has serious, become seriously ill and is in the hospital. Now Jesse discovers the ricin cigarette which he kept handy to poison Gus is missing and concludes that Brock somehow ingested the ricin. And then Jesse confronts a paranoid Walt at the his house Jesse grabs Walt's gun and points it at him, accusing him of poisoning Brock out of spite. Now, Walt claims that Gus must have planned Brock's poisoning and frame Walt for it in an order to manipulate Jesse into killing him. The, camera, it, the cameras around the lab probably spotted the cigarette, and Tyrus must have taken it out of the Jesse's locker, tracked down Brock, and poisoned him. Now, Walt and Jesse know Gus is not above killing children after the death of Andrea's younger brother, Tomas, and Jesse ultimately decides that Walt is innocent. The two team up to kill Gus, or they, they didn't kill Gus, but they're planning to kill Gus. And then Jesse visits the hospital daily, but Andrea will not let him see Brock after he divulges knowledge about the rice and poisoning. Jesse refuses to leave the hospital, which ruins the latest meth cook, and says he will only leave if Gus orders him to in person. Now, when Gus arrives at the hospital, Walt plants a homemade car bomb under Gus's car and watches from a nearby rooftop for the right moment to detonate it. As Gus and his bodyguards return to the car, Gus senses something is uh, wrong and decides to leave the area, leaving Walt distraught about missing his chance to kill Gus. And that's how the episode ends. So this is the last episode before the finale. It sets everything up into place. It's Jesse and uh, Walt versus Gus and um, Tyrus, I guess. So pretty uh, good episode, although not a lot of crazy stuff happened, but I did like where it was going. As far as a character of this episode, I could give it to Walt for his... His, his truthfulness when he's talking to Skyler. But I'm going to give it to Jesse because Jesse had a lot of good dialogue in this episode and a lot of good stuff that he did. Now, you've heard what I have to say. It's your turn to sound off. So if you're a fan of Breaking Bad, 
um, which everybody is that watches this show, uh, please make sure you smash that like button. Share the video with anybody that would be interested that likes Breaking Bad at all. Sound off in the comments section about your thoughts on the episode, your score, your character of the episode, if you can remember that stuff. Um, if you want to talk about your favorite episodes of Breaking Bad that you do remember, that's fine. If you want to talk about your favorite characters, excellent. I'm game for that as well. Or if you want to talk about terrible episodes of Breaking Bad, which at this point we probably shouldn't do. Maybe once we finish the series, it's up It's up to you what you want to do. Uh, we can talk about El Camino, a Breaking Bad movie. I've seen that. I have only seen two episodes of Better Call Saul. It's something that I probably will watch. I just don't know when. So, And then, of course, last but certainly not least, I want to grow this channel. So don't forget to hit that sub button. Subscribe to the channel. Join the team. Show your damn support. Be a part of something special. And J-Dev will return.